everyone! Today is going to be a little bit different of a video because I'm doing a wig review slash tutorial, but they're split up into two videos, so this is the review, and another one will be the tutorial. So, let's get to it. So, this company called Weekend Wigs reached out to me on Instagram and asked if they could send me a wig to do a review slash tutorial on, and I was like, yes. So, I got this in the mail, and I'm really excited to open it, and this is how it came. So, they sent it to me for free, but it is not sponsored, not affiliated, not like any promotional thing. It's just, they sent it to me, and I'm going to be telling you guys my honest opinion on it. So, this actually arrived pretty quickly. Um, I'm pretty sure it came from China, because it says it came from China, and it took about two weeks, I think, to get here, which that's about like the average time it takes whenever I've ordered anything from China. Okay, so it comes in this really nice box and it's got weekend wigs written on it and it's all black and sleek and it's actually really nice. It's made of like a cardboard material. I don't know if that matters to anybody but I just thought I'd point it out. So you open it up and the wig is inside. So I should mention that uh, this is a lace front wig company, so it's for uh, wigs that you want to show the hairline on, um, but don't want like a fake look. So it's a lot nicer of a wig. This is what it looks like out of the bag. I've got their nice little business card that came in there. It came with a bunch of bobby pins and this really cute uh, packaging. Let me just show that off. Look how cute that is. So you've got a little Ziploc with bobby pins, which is really nice because they like to get lost. And it also came with a wig cap. And it says two pieces. So I'm gonna have to rip that open and look at that. Oh, there's two wig caps on one little cardboard piece. Okay, it says it's polyester material, but these are basically like pantyhose material for those of you who know what that is like. Um, but I like to use these wig caps to go over top of my other wig caps, which are more mesh because they're easier to put on. So I will show you that in a second. But we got two of these. And then we have the wig itself. And on first touch, it is really soft. And it's really pretty up close. I'm going to try to put it as close to the camera as possible. But I got an ombre, so it goes from blonde to brown to like a really natural black. And it's just really pretty. And very soft. And as you can see, because it's a lace front, it's got this lace. So you get a natural looking hairline. And on the inside, it's got combs on the temples, and it doesn't look like it's got a, oh, it does have a comb, it's got a comb on the top too. So, uh, some lace fronts I get, they put a comb at the base, the nape of the neck, instead of at the top, but I personally like it here at the top, because then it helps stop the wig from slipping back. And I mean, these do help, like, pull it onto your ears and help it stop from slipping back a little bit, but normally, like, I'm lazy and I don't like spirit gum on my skin, so I don't like to glue down my hairlines um, on my lace fronts, but if it's something that I really don't want peeling up or if I'm actually wearing it on a con all day, I will glue it down, but it's still nice to have that kind of support here at the top uh, just to kind of help stop things from slipping back. All right, so I'm gonna cut the lace on this and I'm going to go put it on my head and show you what it looks like being worn. Okay, so just for reference, before I forget, uh, these are the mesh ones that I was talking about. These are the ones I like to use because they're easier to put on, and they've got a hole right through the center. So, what you do, is you just slip it on over your neck, and you take the thick band part, put that on your hairline, and then you just kind of up into the wig cap. And <laughs> I didn't do that so gracefully, but then all your hair is contained. But then, what you can do with this one, is you can put that on over top of this one, just to kind of smush everything down, so that it's just a lot tighter of a wig cap. And then you can put on your actual wig. So, I'm gonna do that right now. 
and we're back and I have a wig on my head and I absolutely love it. It is so soft and so easy to comb. Oh my goodness, you can just like run your fingers through it and it doesn't really tangle, which is like, for a wig as long as this, cause I mean, here, I'll, I'll stand up so you can see where it falls. It comes to like my belly button area. So it's a really long wig, but it's not tangling, which is like, you can tell it's a nice wig if it doesn't tangle at like putting it on for the first time. So this is the wig. Look, I just wanna show off how pretty it is. And I just keep running my fingers through it because it's just like really nice. And I haven't really hit a kink yet in the wig that I couldn't like just run my fingers through very lightly and it just like separated out. But this is just a really pretty wig, like really pretty. And it looks really natural. Yeah, as you can see, like the hairline up here, that's what it looks like. So you can't really tell that it's a wig, which is really nice. So if you ever have like a character that you have the hairline showing and you don't want to try to like fake it somehow, lace fronts are great. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this company. They've been so sweet and they've talked to me the entire time and checked up on me to make sure everything's okay. And yeah, their wigs are just really nice. So now I'm kind of sad because I'm going to, well, not destroy it, which is what I was gonna say, but it's, let's just say it's not gonna look like this when I'm done with it. But that'll be in my next video. And I'm making this a separate review and tutorial because of what the uh, FTC is doing with YouTube and things in the cosplay world are kind of getting a little sketchy as far as like, does it fall under arts and crafts? Does it fall under dress up and children appealing stuff? I just don't know. So I'd rather just keep a review that I know is going to be safe versus a tutorial that's cosplay related and based on a cartoon character um, on a different video just in case. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and as a special thank you for watching this video, Weekend Wigs has provided me with a coupon code for all of you that you can use on their website to get 10% off and that coupon code is LUNALEN. So all you have to do is at checkout, apply this coupon code, I believe, and it should take 10% off. So that's really exciting. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you wanna watch the tutorial, there will be a link in the description or there will be a link at the very end of the video on the end card. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you again very soon.